To this noon, the Park Service operation at McPherson Square in D.C. got underway a couple of hours ago after first announcing the homeless encampment would be cleared in April. The date was moved up to today. WSA 9's John Henry joins us live with more on this effort and the opposition to it. John, I still see a couple of tents behind you. What's happening right now? Yeah, there's still a few tents here in McPherson Square. Once again, you said there you can see one right here behind me. This is what we've been seeing all day. Basically, workers coming in to these tents and then taking the belongings outside of the tent, making sure people are outside of the tent first, and then removing them and then placing them into dumpsters. When this all started around 10 o'clock or shortly thereafter, we had three warnings that we heard over bullhorns here telling people to leave this premise or they would be arrested. We were told by the National Park Service there were roughly 60 people inside of this park at the time of the clearance, down from a peak about 74 earlier this this week. As I said, people with white suits went in and then started this operation, one that's supposed to last for another hour and a half to two hours, we're told by the Park Service. People, advocates, dozens of people all watched this happen from afar earlier today. Advocates said they've been helping people get out of here even before that. One told us, he said that this was really indicative of the entire unhoused situation and how America has been handling it across the country. But this obviously took a lot of interest, a lot of people's interest, just because of where it is. It's a block away from the White House. We talked to one man who came here last night. He had lived here for months before he got a housing voucher earlier in the year, but he still had belongings here in this park. He wanted to make sure they were out before they were destroyed. Um, we are seeing this kind of activity all over the country. Uh, instead of finding solutions for homelessness, uh, we're doing this kind of action, which is myopic at best. Um, it's actually that was Donald Whitehead. He's a leading houseless, uh, houseless uh, homelessness expert here, an advocate here uh, in the district and across the country. He was a person I was talking about earlier saying that this needs to be dealt with better in the future. We talked to a lot of people here as well. They said uh, that the voucher system here in the District of Columbia needs to be reworked so people can actually find housing. We talked to at least four or five different unhoused people about that. We're gonna have more about that coming up tonight at five o'clock. Guys. Yeah, John, I understand folks who sometimes are in those tents have been waiting for years on that voucher list, waiting for a home. So we do have to figure that out. Hopefully the city said they were going to get a lot of folks into transitional housing. But the Park Service, of course, said it was getting too large and too dangerous to kind of keep those folks out there. Let's uh, hope everyone finds a safe place and warm place to stay tonight and in the future. John, thanks so much.